So that's Johan from Tigerberg Snake Rescue over there. He removed a Cape Cobra from someone's garage last night. Apparently it's quite a lively one. So we're just going to release it now. If I can, I'm going to put it on the hook and just tell you a little bit about it. So there we go. That's a Cape Cobra. They, they get about 1.2 to 1.4 meters when they're fully grown. Um, you can see it making the hood. That's an easy way to recognize a Cape Cobra. This one is probably about mm, not fully grown yet. It's about midway out of juvenile stage, I think. But it's very lively, so I'm just going to see whether we can actually pick it up. Let's just give it a second. Oh, there we go. Do you want to try and get a nice close-up of it over there? They're easy, easily recognizable by the hood that they make, but they don't always do that. So people often confuse mole snakes for Cape Cobras. But here in our area, this is this is generally the color that you see them in. Hey. This is generally the color that you see them in. Um, they can be bright yellow as well, but most of the time they have these speckles. I think this guy's going to be a little bit short to pick up. Ah, look at that. Without the hood, it's got that very broad head with the cheeks. That's where the venom glands are. Okay, it's okay, little guy. It's okay, little guy. Oh. I want to get the tail out. And I can grab the tail and hook the snake. It's made a little bit of a mess, but there you go. That's a Cape Cobra. You want to get a nice close-up, Johan? It's a beautiful snake. So they eat rats and lizards and frogs and pretty much anything. Um, they also eat other snakes. They like puff adders. I've seen a couple of videos of them eating puff adders. And generally, it's a, like with all snakes, you need to be careful. But you don't really want to kill them. They've got a role that they play. There you can see it's kind of making a semi-hood. When they're cornered, they're not scared to strike Hello. at all. How Hello, are how are you? Thanks very much. You know what, if possible, I mean, we love to put this stunning cover here. It's a beautiful little cover, yeah. Young one still. Young one still, definitely. It was stunning, eh? Yeah. Yes, yes. <laughs> don't man, because the thing is, we obviously like to, you know, keep our sightings up to date. Yes. Um, and we don't often get cobra sightings especially, okay. so could I leave my email address or something yes. that, you know, if you do pop something here, you could just be like, da da da, -da yes. or something well, like. that you, would be so great. Tell you what, I keep a full record anywhere that I send to the city of Cape Town on an annual basis. Oh. So all of the yeah, Atlantis that's entries. That's a requirement for us. Oh, yeah. I didn't know that. Yeah, we have to say where we caught it, date, and where we release it. Hey, little guy. Uh -oh. All the, all the Atlantis entries, I can email that through to you if that you want to give me be, your email address. That would be absolutely easy. Just make my life so much easier. <laughs> what a beauty. Yeah. And we try and do like semi-educational videos for people as well. Exactly, absolutely. There we go, because people kill so many of them and it's completely unnecessary. You know what I would really... Oh, this is one of my It's beautiful. You know what I would really like is if the people that usually come dump here, I wish they could see you releasing this thing here. I really do. So we're going to release this little guy now, just go into the bush, and you'll notice that he doesn't come for you, no snakes will ever try and chase you or come for you, he just wants to get away, there he goes, nice and safe.